when it comes to education, it, it's not even about us. Uh, it's about our children, yes. Uh, what legacy are we leaving behind? Uh, simply because as Africans, there were systems in place. Uh, roads must fall down. There were systems in place uh, designed to keep us Africans out of school. There was a time it was illegal to read. If you knew how to read as a black person, they would kill you for knowing how to read. Uh, there have been systems in place designed to keep us uneducated. And for generations upon generations, our ancestors uh, never had the opportunity to go to school. So when we go to university and we graduate, uh, we don't know how many generational curses we are breaking, yes. Uh, and our children from day one have to know uh, that in the Piri house, you've got to go to university, yes. Uh, the level is not giving up on a metric, yes. Uh, we are a family that goes to university. Uh, where would you be today uh, if you were a fifth generation uh, Harvard Business School graduate? Do not close the door on your university education. I refuse to be highly anointed, but highly uneducated. I refuse to just be another Christian who can only speak in tongues. I need to be a Christian who is educated. And number two as a church, we have to raise highly professional and highly productive entrepreneurs. As Africans, we've been trained just to be laborers. We've been trained to be workers. We've been trained to look for jobs. We've been trained that all our lives we have to report to a bus. Yes, bus. Yes, bus. There comes a point where you say, no bus. Nina, I bus. I want to be a boss. I don't want to spend my whole life chasing jobs. I'm also called to create jobs. Do not close the door on owning a business. Do not close the door on starting a business. Do not close the door on starting a business. Do not close the door of being in business. Do not close the door of being a business owner. Do not close the door of being a boss. I'm not called to call someone boss. I'm a grown man. I'm not called to call someone boss my whole life. When I'm late for work, they put me in a meeting and they threaten me to lose the job. But when I'm my boss, I, I control my own time. I work where I want to work with. I'm tired of Africans who just think that life is about jobs. Life is about business. Ah, you're not supposed to just have one income. It's dangerous to live on one income your whole life. To just live on a salary and let the salary dictate where you owe Jesus. And let someone dictate how much you're supposed to earn. But what you earn, the problem with having a job uh, is that in the job, what you earn never relates to what you bring in. You don't know how much money you are bringing into the company uh, and what you're being paid will never match what you are bringing in. Uh, that's the power of business. Uh, what I bring in, I choose what I, I choose my own salary. Uh, I choose what I earn based on what I bring in. Uh, there isn't someone who decides how much I must earn. Uh, and in South Africa, in a racist 
marketplace uh, where blacks are not paid what they are worth. Uh, ah, there's very few blacks who are paid what they are really worth. Uh, if you could see what they are paying each other in the company compared uh, to what they are paying you, you would toy toy and Oh Jesus, you burn up that place because it's very rare that you get paid what you are really worth. Nehemiah's concern is about raising business people, people who understand that we are supposed to be in charge of businesses. Ah, we are rebuilding walls now. Do not close the door on starting your business. Do not close the door of being in business. Do not close the door of running your own business. In this season, you've got to believe that God is going to bless your business. I break the spirit of poverty. 